Hello witches, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luca, and today we are renovating another EA house. So if you haven't seen the last one of me renovating the starter home in Glimmerbrook, well, go check that out. Um, but this one is the other home, one of the other homes in Glimmerbrook. This is the kind of medium sized home located on the lot of Creekside Corner, the Amicable Acolytes. I'm pretty sure that's the household that lives there currently. Um, yeah, this, this home, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. The last one was bad, but not like horrible. This one was pretty atrocious. Like the back door wasn't even there. Just, yeah, the, the colors are bad. Just like so much about it I didn't like. So what I did was, is I made it a dark witchy kind of dark academia kind of vibe, or at least what I could do. Um, so I'm only using the base game. I am, well, I'm using the base game plus Realm of Magic, and um, I'm not using any money cheats. I'm using move objects and show live edit objects, of course, and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, this is, this is like if I was just jumping into the game and just kind of loading up the household and just renovating it. Boy, this house, y'all. It was rough. The windows, it's its like they just chose the first swatch of everything and just placed it down at random. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But um, my first goal was to fix this back door here because there wasn't a back door, but the stairs were like awkwardly, like there was like a two wide staircase, but it was like horizontally placed against the kitchen. So there was like a gap behind them. It just, it didn't make sense. I don't know if something just didn't fully transfer over, if they like placed the home, home down or something. I'm not really sure. I also made sure to reposition the windows a little bit better. And uh, I made the top floor uh, medium wall height instead of tall. And I also changed the swatches on almost everything. Now, initially I did have this brick here from Realm of Magic. It's just, it's honestly a base game brick just with a trim around it and um, I eventually changed it to a different brick the other brick that came with Realm of Magic um, just because it was a lot cheaper and um, they had 10,000 simoleons uh, in the household funds whenever I loaded up the house but um, I did use almost all of it and I also did use these really expensive uh, railings and fences on uh, like the balcony there and the porches and stuff um, I changed that later on to something a little bit more inexpensive just because I also also did use the tool mod here. I'm sorry. Um, I, I, yeah, I had to, I just needed to make that bush just like a little bit bigger, but not too much bigger. You know, I just little things totally unnecessary, but, um, didn't need to do that. But yeah, I really kept the landscaping pretty minimal and simple. Um, you know, just placed a bunch of stuff down just to see if it would look good. And it did. And, um, I feel like that's uh, a good way to go about landscaping. Honestly, this was an interesting house though, layout wise very interesting. Um, it, it made sense to me. Like once I, you know, looked inside, I was like, oh gosh, this is very bright, very green and sickly looking. It just didn't look good. Uh, but I added the back door, made sure to fix that. But I did try to use all the furniture that it already came with for the most part. Um, some of the rooms, of course, I did just change the swatches. Some of the rooms I totally redid. But here in the main living dining foyer, just this big room here. I was like, oh gosh, the swatches, the colors are just not it. There's just something wrong and I could not figure it out. I changed the wallpaper though. And uh, it was the more expensive option, uh, but I find later on this, it's not quite, it's wainscoting, but it doesn't really, it's not the same kind of wainscoting like this. It's like all wood. Um, you'll see in a little bit. It looks so much better, honestly. It lo looks so much more like an old kind of home, just, just re like an old regal looking home, but it's lost its like charm over the years. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's this right here. You see me add this and I do change the color to be the darker swatch later on, but I was like, this looks so much better. It looks cozier. It looks darker. It looks more magical. And, um, yeah, and I did work with what they already had in here. It was just horribly laid out. I don't know what was going on. Um, I didn't even need to move the chairs. I just had to move around a few things and I added a couch and there we go. Look at that. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And, um, honestly, the dark green there on the like the fireplace and the rug oof you know me I love me a good dark green and I was very glad that I could use a dark green let me tell you though these curtains and this is just me being nitpicky but it's also these curtains too um the swatches were not working for me 
at all. And I do go with the one swatch that, the, that I use here in the end. Um, I just go with it because it just, it just looks the best. But um, my problem is that the wood tones on the like frame that they're being draped from um, don't match up with everything else. Um, this is the only one that matches. Um, the rest of them don't. And I, I would really love like a golden kind of creamy beige kind of colored curtain um, with the same wood toned swatch but unfortunately it's like a black wood swatch so it just doesn't really work out for me it's the little things for me when it comes to swatches and colors and builds and everything it's just the little nitpicky details that um i just have trouble with and um you know i yeah but this little foyer section was a little bit tricky for me because i was like i don't know what i'm supposed to put here so i just put a bookcase and a, a little rug here from the base game and uh it, i found the green swatch so it kind of carried the green color into here and it just kind of made it look a little bit more cohesive i do eventually change up the flooring just a bit uh but i really like how it looks right now and um i added a little table here with a little rose vase you know a little flower vase here um I, I don't know it's just i was like there needs to be something in this corner and i thought that made the most sense we are quite limited here because we're just using the base game and realm of magic so um it, I think I did a pretty good job. I, I'm going to pat myself on my back. I think I did a pretty darn good job for, you know, what it was, for what I've, what I had. The floor plan, now if it was me actually like fully renovating this house, I would be moving the walls around. I would be fixing so many things because there's so much wrong with it. It's just, oh my goodness, it drives me crazy. This little room here was actually uh, like, there was like this little downstairs bedroom just kind of randomly in this corner. And so I just went in and made it a little storage room room. I don't know. It just made more sense for it to be that. And, uh, I wasn't going to take down the walls. So, um, I just put some crates in there and a telescope and that's it. Like just left it like that. Um, you know, it's just a little extra little side room that they just kind of store some stuff in. And yeah, maybe they, they, maybe they store magical ingredients or something. Um, let me tell you, I saw the bed, the bookshelf and the picture on the, on the wall of the staircase there. And I laughed. I was like, wow, they really did this. They really put this really modern, like Cosmolux looking bookshelf from the base game that looks like it fits into a build in Oasis Springs here in a caught in like this magical cottagey looking home. Uh, yeah. It was an interesting choice. It was a choice. Okay, it was a choice. Everyone's so creative. <laughs> the kitchen wasn't horrible. I didn't like the counters. Of course, it didn't really work, but I was like, you know what? The layout isn't bad. It's not terrible. It needs just some zhuzh. It needs some fix, but I did totally redo it at the same time. So um, I just got these counters from the base game. Now, these are a little bit more expensive. Um, I don't think they're super like that much more expensive, but they are a little bit more expensive than a lot of them. Uh, it, but I thought they made the most sense. And uh, I'm not really crazy about the layout, to be honest, because I don't know, I just, I feel like it didn't work the best. I would have made the kitchen a bit longer in my, if I was to build this myself, but I do like it in the end still. It looks pretty good. Um, I was going to do this kind of like countertop in the middle and like and everything, but then I was like, wait, I need to include a cauldron. This is a realm of magic build. I have not used a cauldron yet, so I need to put a cauldron in here. And it makes the most sense because honestly, there's nowhere else in the house that I saw like a study or a workspace that was like properly like enough space for a cauldron. So, um, and you know, it's the kitchen. So why not? Um, I put the, put it in here and uh, you know, it looked so much better. I really liked it. And honestly, if I can put a, ca a cauldron in a build, I'm going to do it. But yeah, I think this works. It looks pretty good. Um, I do include some cabinets as well because you know, it just, it's a kitchen. Um, and I feel like it made it a lot better in here. It just it made more sense and made it more realistic stick and I don't know uh, that's something that you don't really see a lot in of like an EA builds is a lot of cabinets if any like I mean I I've seen a few here and there but like like for example the uh, pancakes house they, they do have a full set of cabinets and all that stuff but it just the way they place them just I guess for us simmers it doesn't make sense 
I don't know. I feel like I feel like us as simmers, we all have this universal way of doing things. Even if we all do things differently, there's just certain little things that we do that just make the most sense to us. Like putting a tile backsplash wall or some kind of stone or brick or whatever on a backsplash wall somewhere in the kitchen because it just makes the most sense. Even if, you know, that doesn't always happen like in my own house in real life, we don't have that. It's just all blue paint. But, you know, it it just makes the most sense here in the sims this bathroom was pretty bad too i was like you know what it just needs a little bit of a magic touch and uh, i put a bathtub in here and i tried to work with what was already in here but it was just not doing it for me it did have a bathtub but it was a modern bathtub it was like the very blocky modern bathtub and i was like why like wh what i don't understand this is supposed to be a magical build and here you are putting a modern bathtub in here i don't understand and um, i did include this um the stone flooring which oh my goodness when i did that i was like this looks so good it just works so well with it it was very expensive though it did make the price of the house go way up so i think i may change the bathroom up and i don't know i might change things here and there just so that i could have money later on but um, it's, it still looks really good. I love the way this flooring looks. It kind of gives me castle vibes too. And I, I really like that. Speaking of castle, there is a build in Realm of Magic that is not in the world of Glimmerbrook necessarily. Um, however, it is in the Magic Realm. And yes, it's Magic HQ. And um, I have renovated that in the past, but it's going to be a challenge, y'all, because that's that's what's coming at the end of this. I don't know if I'm going to come back to this world again, um, but I do want to do that someday. But just thinking about it now, I'm just like, wow, that's going to be a lot. There is another home here in Glimmerbrook that does need a little bit of a magic touch. Um, so I'll do that first if I do this again. I'm just saying right now, um, I did the last video and this video in the same sitting, basically. Um, instead of doing, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to try something different with my videos. Uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, behind the scenes. Um, I kind of want to try making it so that I do all of my recording at the same time, and then I can come back and do my editing all at the same time, then do all the voiceovers kind of not at the same time, just kind of doing them in bulk sets, you know, like doing two videos at a time instead of just doing one, because I don't know, the build flow sometimes works best for me if I just do a bunch of builds at the same time. And I skipped past uh, there just, just now, uh, the uh, brick on the exterior, I changed it to the regular brick and it looks a lot nicer. Um, I was trying to not use the same exact color of the brick from the last house. Uh, you know, I didn't want to make it like they were the exact same home, but other, but regardless, that brick is very nice from the Realm of Magic pack. I really like the swatches. They're pretty neutral. They're pretty matchy-matchy, sort of. Um, but I really like the colors. I really like that dark purpley tone, especially. The hallway kind of upstairs landing up here was just kind of empty. I didn't really... I wasn't too crazy about it. I did replace the doors with this base game door. It does have this, like, magical knocker on it, which kind of doesn't really make sense for an interior door, but it's fine. It looks good, and less and I really like the color and the the swatch matched the flooring really well the vibe matched so this bedroom I'm assuming this is just like a kid's bedroom or just a second bedroom or something um it's really weird house because the two, the household that lives here is the amicable acolytes it's two like best friend roommates kind of vibe but this home looks like a family home because there's like a kid's bed bedroom downstairs there's a single like bedroom up here and then there's a double bed bedroom uh, like right next to it and I'm like this feels like a family home and I'm I'm not sure what they were doing with this but I kept it the way it was I used it like I renovated it the way it was intended and um, once I got to this bedroom the master bedroom I was like okay I need to be a little bit more smart with the budget instead of selling items I need to just use what I've got um, I scrapped that literally in two seconds and I replaced the bed with uh, something nicer and um, yeah I liked it I got rid of the blue wall I think I hope I did I really hope yeah I did and oh it just this looks so much better. I feel like the paint, like the the white trim, like the white trim, the white crown molding, and just the simple paint looks so modern and contemporary. It just doesn't make sense for this kind of build. Um, but this this tiling in the bathroom kind of worked, though. It was kind of cute. I think I left it. I really hope I did, because honestly, it had a lot of character. And uh, I don't know, it was a little bit of a different change of pace. However, I probably changed it. Let's be honest. I don't remember. I did this just like 
an hour or so ago. Still can't remember half of what I did. That's usually what happens with uh, my brain. But uh, yeah, I really liked this build. It's uh, almost, we're getting there. But now I was like confident at this point because I was seeing the interior. I was seeing bits of the exterior. I was like, oh, this looks good. And then I realized I didn't roof it yet. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> the roof. I had to take a break and come back to it. And uh, um, I was like, oh, I'm gonna use platforms. I'm gonna try to use platforms and see if that works. And um, it, did it work? No, I'm just gonna tell you, it didn't work the way I initially wanted it to first. So I do kind of regroup. I was like, okay, what if I did this trim? The trim used up so many simoleons. I regret honestly but it made it look nice but I was trying to do like this roofing but I was like this doesn't look right either I couldn't add any walls because I really wanted to add a turret but then I looked at the funds and I was like oh gosh I can't afford that anyway so I did just go with using this half is it a half gabled roof no a half hipped roof think that's what it's called but this half hipped roof here and um, I just kind of made it so it looked like there was like a somewhat of a roof but it had like a flat section in the middle i'm not really sure what that's called i know that there's, there's a technical term for that um but i think it worked in the end i used a platform to kind of fill it in instead of using walls and uh yeah i think it looks kind of good it, it makes sense it doesn't look atrocious um i do like this is like the time whenever i realized i needed to replace the fencing on the balconies and stuff if i wanted to have like a proper like like because I, I wanted to put that little like short metal fence on the edges as well as actually put proper like flooring floor tiles on the roof as well I, I don't know just just a lot of little things I needed and I didn't have any simoleons for I even attempted to use this Joe Levitt object fence here but it's just placing it was a nightmare and the, it wasn't lining up correctly and so I just was like you know what I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna figure something out and uh, yeah I eventually do don't worry but uh, yeah the, the shape of the house it's pretty much there it's pretty much done um i did upload this to the gallery if you want to download it it's under my username luca owens that is l-u-c-c-a-o-w-e-n-s as well as the hashtag luca l-u-c-c-a and yeah it's a uh, it's two bedroom it was three bedroom now it is two bedroom but you can make that downstairs room another bedroom if you want again i just felt it was a little bit awkward like it just seemed so strange it just being right off the right off of the living room like that i did a little bit more more landscaping added some terrain paint i think i added some grass too and uh, i did some more out in the back i would have probably added a fence too here but um i don't know i feel like the fence just wouldn't have fit i don't know with the round kind of driveway and then like the natural setting i just felt like a fence just didn't make the most sense here and then i just added some more in the backyard and i was like oh gosh we don't have any simoleons to put anything out here. So um, I just left it empty <laughs> because that was it. But then I was like, oh my gosh, I can replace this railing. And then literally I made like 2000 simoleons back after replacing the railing and the fences there, like crazy. Like I was almost, I had almost 3000 simoleons. And so I turned around, used the expensive flooring on the roof bits and put some trim and some of those metal fences, not on the top, but on the others. And uh, yeah, I basically used all that money back. So, uh, but it looked better. But anyways, that is everything. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird. And I will speak to you all next time. Goodbye, my friends.